بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وآل آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you guys doing? And uh, welcome back to yet another video And if you're new here, I'm Muhammad Dahim Hadar In this channel, we talk all things Islam الحمد لله uh, Well, this is the continuation of my last video where we talked about uh, incorporating easy Islamic mannerism in your daily life. Um, uh, you know what? Uh, Our Prophet he actually said that uh, that uh, I have been sent down to perfect good characteristics. So, uh, brothers and sisters, whenever we are trying or struggling or striving for good mannerism, good characteristics, we are actually following the legacy of our beloved Prophet Sallallahu uh, Alaihi So that should motivate you to incorporate this um, easy, uh, easy to follow mannerism uh, in your daily life. So without further delay, let's jump right into the fifth one. Um, and if you haven't watched the first one, uh, watch the link somewhere on the top. Uh, so the fifth one is uh, speak kind words, good words, or uh, remain silent. You know, uh, it's it's uh, actually about when you are engaging uh, with someone uh, in communication. You know, how you should uh, you know speak towards them and what mannerism you should follow. Um, uh, our Prophet Sallallahu in Hadith, he actually said that مَنْ كَانَ يُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ فَلْيَاكُلْ خَيْرَ أَوْ لِيَصْمُتْ That whoever believes in the, in the uh, whoever believes in Allah and the, and the last day, uh, he should speak good or remain silent. Very important, brothers and sisters, because you know, uh, a lot of times when you were uh, communicating with someone and you uh, jump or you fall into a disagreement, it's very tough to control yourself, control your voice, lower your voice, um, or uh, just uh, be, be polite and gentle. It's tough. And that's where, you know, we have to be patient. And that's where this uh, mannerism kicks in, right? Uh, a lot of times when you were talking uh, to elders or younger what we do we you know sort of like interrupt them without listening to them or we actually don't focus on what they're saying so whenever you are talking to the elder or younger you know be present don't uh, look at your cell phone don't check your notification don't check your whatsapp those kind of stuff and if you have if you don't have anything good to contribute just stay silent because, you know, uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how strong um, you are emotionally, mentally, uh, how manly you are. You know, whenever someone says something bad, someone, someone says something which is sort of ill-mannered, it actually hurts people. It doesn't matter how manly you are, you know, how strong you are. You know, Allah said in the Quran that, That certainly we know, O Muhammad, uh, that uh, your heart get distressed by what they say, what they say, you know. So just words can actually hurt someone badly. So, Ikhwan and Akhawat, watch out. Watch out what comes out of your mouth. Um, another, uh, one of my favorite hadith where uh, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, one, one of the Sahabi actually came to our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he said, Ya Rasulullah man najah, that O Rasulullah, what is success? And he said, uh, the first thing he said is, Amsik alayka lisanak, that rain your tongue, hold your tongue, you know. So this is what, what comes in when it comes to hold your tongue. Speak good or remain silent. Bidnil al karim. So that's number five. Uh, easy, right? This, these things are so easy. So Actually, this one is actually a bit tough than the other four, but uh, inshallah, we'll strive. Uh, number five. Number five is um, whenever <laughs> you are going to sleep. So this is the mannerism uh, regarding sleeping. So every day we sleep, right? So what do we have to do? You have to do four things. The first one is whenever it, it, it's time to sleep, you actually make wudu. You purify yourself, right? 
The second one is you uh, sleep on your right side. That's number two. Number three, you recite Ayatul Kursi. Right? Number three. And number four, it's very important. You uh, hold your hand together like this and you recite Surat Al Ikhlas, uh, Surat Al Falak, and Surat An Nas. And you actually blow uh, in your hand and you wipe over uh, whatever reaches in your, whatever you can reach in your body. So don't spit, you know, just blow like, like this. And then you actually wipe over your body. And do, do this uh, three times, uh, inshallah. Uh, that's the mannerism. Uh, there's other things, but these these four things are easy to follow. Uh, number number six, right? Yes, number six. Number six is uh, mannerism when you sneeze. How you should sneeze and what to do when you sneeze. Uh, Subhanallah, you know I. The, the beauty of our religion, Allahu Akbar, you know, Allah, Allah Azza wa Jal even sent down mannerism regarding sneezing. Can you imagine that? Allahu Akbar. Uh, the guideline, Allah, the guideline that Allah, you know, put forth for us to follow. And uh, Allah, this is success. Whenever you are, you know, trying to follow this path, this is the success. It's a journey, you know. Uh, so, uh, whenever uh, we are sneezing, the, the first thing is uh, you either cover your mouth with, with your hand or if you have clothes, napkin or whatever, you try to, you know, cover when you're sneezing. And whenever you sneeze, you actually say, you praise Allah, you say Alhamdulillah, right? Because uh, in a Sahih Hadith, Allah said, sneeze is uh, actually from Allah. Uh, so it's a good thing, uh, Alhamdulillah. Unless you have any health condition, that's another thing. But uh, you know, sneezing generally, it's uh, it's a good thing. So you say Alhamdulillah, and whoever actually listens that you actually sneeze and you say Alhamdulillah, they should say Yarhamukullah. Uh, that the, the mercy of Allah be upon you. And when you hear that someone actually say Yarhamukullah, you actually say Yahdikumullahu wa yaslihu baalakum. That may Allah guide you and rectify your affairs. Allahu Akbar. Like, it's so beautiful, you know, such beautiful things to say uh, to someone. Allahu Akbar. So, first thing, you cover your mouth. Second thing, you say Alhamdulillah. And whenever someone says, Yarhamukallah, you say, Yahdikumullahu wa yaslihu baalakum. That's the mannerism about sneezing. Easy, wallah, it's, it's the easiest thing in the world, inshallah. May Allah make, make us, uh, you know, uh, make this mannerism easy for us. Uh, that's number six. Number seven, so we talked about sneezing and here comes yawning. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, uh, in, in, a, in a, uh, another, you know, Sahih Hadith actually, our Prophet our actually said that uh, yawning, uh, is actually from uh, shaitan and whenever you actually yawn uh, shaitan actually laughs that's a sahih hadith um, a lot of times uh, what we do we don't really suppress the yawn, yawn rather we like stretch right don't do that that's that's not the mannerism from uh, from the prophet and his company and, and the salaf salih whenever uh, it's uh, you know you you feel like oh you'll be yawning you try to suppress the yawning as much as possible you know and you don't stretch you don't make sound uh, that's the mannerism uh, when it comes to yawning um, yeah that's that's number seven uh, number eight number eight is about um, uh, when when you actually come to a gathering, what should you do? Uh, either it's a masjid or particularly masjid or even halakha. I, I have seen it so many times, you know, what uh, a lot of brothers do. They they come to the masjid or come to any sort of gathering and they actually sit uh, near a pillar or near the wall where they can uh, lean on. 
right? Um, that's that's not a mannerism uh, that our Professor Lewisman taught us, you know? Um, you know, whenever you uh, come to a gathering, you give salam to people, um, and then uh, you actually sit where the gathering actually ends, you know, immediate, immediately. Um, you don't uh, sort of uh, push people, uh, you know, a lot of times in Juma prayer, uh, uh, we actually see, okay, there are some, I don't know, empty place somewhere, I don't know, in the near the front row, so what brothers, what do they try to, you know, jump on uh, people? Uh, that's not a good manner. Uh, another thing I, I watched is uh, people actually uh, c comes with their uh, prayer rug and uh, they put it in the first floor, they put it in the first floor and then uh, they go somewhere, they're like chilling or uh, drinking chai uh, outside the masjid. This is also not allowed, you know, you shouldn't do that. Uh, if you want to sit in the first row, you remain in there. You don't uh, put your... Uh, there is no reservation for those kind of stuff. Um, so whenever you enter a gathering, you give salam to people, you don't push people, uh, you know, uh, you don't sit in between uh, people without their permission. Uh, number eight. Did I miss anything? Let me see. Oh, another thing is... Um, make, make actually... Uh, don't make anyone to uh, leave their place. And uh, uh, when, like, don't sit in a way, uh, the, like, not just right in front of the door or like right in front of the entrance where people have uh, difficulty to enter or go out, right? You sit in a manner that it's not problematic uh, for other people, uh, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, so, that, yeah, that's the uh, another four uh, mannerism. Uh, for this video. Uh, so we talked about speak good or remain silent. We talked about the mannerism of uh, sleeping at night. Then we talked about mannerism of sneezing and then yawning and how to enter a gathering and how you should uh, you know uh, sit uh, properly uh, in a gathering or in a masjid or in a halakha. Uh, so yeah if you make it this far uh, thank you for listening inshallah and uh, may Allah make it easy for us to uh, follow all this mannerism in our daily life and I will see you in the next video Barakallahu feekum wa jazakumullahu khairan wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh